Oh yeah, and uh, I'm sorry to cut up, cut you guys off earlier, but that book, you know, that book is just blowing my mind every time I read it. You know, it's it's just you learn something new every day. You know, it gives you like a spark. You know what I mean? And that's basically what knowledge is. Knowledge is enlightenment. You know what I mean? Knowledge is like it makes you connect the dots. That's basically how your brain your brain works. You know, the more you think, the more connectivity. Uh, happens in your brain and the more you're able to um, come up with different conclusions of any situation you know you put yourself in or that you want yourself to go through you know what I mean so so I think that you know learning and reading is very critical is very important to our lives you know it's not I mean, it can it can make or break you because not only should you read every day, but you also have to apply it to your life. You know what I mean? Because a person can sit here and read all the books they want in the world. You know what I mean? But if they don't take any type of action, then it's not going to help you. You know what I mean? Knowledge is powerful, but specialized knowledge is even more powerful when you can take your knowledge and specialize in that knowledge, specialize yourself, like meaning like, what do you specialize in? You know, the, the, in, in the thing that you know the most, you know what I mean? Like if someone takes accounting, for example, you know, they someone studies accounting and they specialize in accounting, you know what I mean? Accounting is very uh, good, is a very good study. Accounting, because it deals with numbers, it, it shows you how to manage your income and that's what schools don't teach you nowadays schools all they do is teach you um to get to to go to school get good grades and blah blah, blah. but they really don't teach you financial uh financial plans they they, they they don't teach you what it takes to 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 manage financial to manage your income you know what i'm saying to manage money and money is you know needed every single day of our lives every second that we're living and breathing we have to have money if you don't have money then you're not going to be all right you know money is powerful you know money is definitely powerful um so it's best to study money you know study you know and document everything that you make everything that you spend get in the habit of knowing actually what you're doing with your money get in the habit of knowing how much you're saving your money knowing how much you're spending your money you know and knowing how much you're investing your money into you know what I mean so you know I mean you can learn this you know it's not too many schools I'm schools at all don't teach this you know they, schools don't teach you uh, uh, excuse me, schools don't teach you money, you know what I mean? You have to learn about it through people. You have to learn about it through books. You know, that's why, you know, some of the most uh, richest people on the planet, you know, dropped out of sc high school, dropped out of even um, middle school. Some people didn't even, some people dropped out of, out of the eighth grade and you know, they they make four million dollars a year now. You know what I mean? It's like school has no effect on how much money you can make. You know what I mean? It's it's basically the knowledge and the specialized um, practices that you take every day is what will you know determine you know how much money you will make. You know, it's in, in, in it's also including your mind as well because your mind is powerful if you have the uh, attitude, you know, telling yourself that you can make this money. If you have the attitude telling yourself that you can change, you know, you can, you can make $500,000 a month. You can make $25,000 a week. You know, you can make even $30,000 a month. If you tell yourself these things and you take little practices every day to make your, to get yourself making this money, you know, then eventually it will come to you, you know, 
It just doesn't happen overnight. Just like what, you know, Ty Lopez says, you know, Ty Lopez is a very um, well-known entrepreneur, you know, in the United States. And he's, you know, worldwide. Every, every, everybody knows of Ty Lopez and his 67 steps of what he talks about and his program. And, and I believe his program does work. You know, I don't, I never studied his program. I don't know what it's about. But, you know, he has a bunch of entrepreneurs that work for him. And they started off with just like you and me. We have no money. You know, there's a difference between being broke and being poor. You know what I mean? Because being broke means you have... Being broke is temporary. You know what I'm saying? Being broke is, is basically temporary. Whereas being poor, you're labeling yourself as poor. Meaning it's... it's, it's um, eternal, you know what I mean? So you don't want to be poor. You sometimes you're going to be broke. You know, rich people tend to be broke before they get a lot of money. You know what I mean? So I mean, it takes that practice in order to make you in order to make you aware of what money does and how money can come and go. You know what I mean? So um it's important it, you know money is just important it's something it's, it's, it's it is a skill that doesn't get taught in school and it's why you should educate yourself on money you know read books just like what Ty Lopez says read a book a day you know you read a book a day your mind is going to thank you for it your habit your daily habits is going to thank you for it because the more you exercise your mind the more your daily habits will change you know what i mean because you're going to be um thinking more you're going to your cognitive thinking is going to get better and better and you're gonna change the way you do things every day, especially if you have a job. You know, you're probably gonna change your work area, your workspace, your work environment. You know, if you have a business, you're probably going to develop your business. You know what I mean? So it's like, <clears throat> I mean, knowledge is, is extremely powerful. You know, so I'm over here at Panda Express, and we're about to <laughs> get some more vegetables and chicken, man. I love it. I love this place. It's my favorite place in the whole wide world.